Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at how to flash firmware to the Blissbox bridge adapter. So the bridge adapter is a cool new device that lets you use any controller on any console. So you can flash it so that a PlayStation controller appears to a PC or an Xbox as if it's an X input controller. You could use it in a setup with a cabinet where you have several different consoles like a SNES, a Saturn or a Neo Geo and you want to adapt one joystick to work with all three of them. Um, there's all sorts of possibilities and we hope that um, people will start playing with these and, and coming up with new things as well. Um, but anyway the first thing you need to do is flash the firmware and to do that you're going to need to use the command line and you're going to need a tool and a firmware file. And I know some people are intimidated by the command line, so I've made this little video that takes you through step by step. Right, so first of all, we'll need the programmer, and you can get that from this link. And obviously, I'll put the links in the notes. So scroll down past version one, because for some reason that doesn't work for us. And go and find version 0.9. And then find the link for Windows, because we're on Windows. I'll just right click and I'm going to go save link as and I'm going to put that in C bridge just to keep it really really easy so I've actually already downloaded it but let's go ahead and save it again and replace that file alrighty so I normally use director opus but I'll use explorer to keep everything standard I've got that folder open up Explorer C drive bridge great and there's the file we downloaded so let's just right click and extract all and the default place is fine extract and okay that's extracted um, again that's directory opus so I'll close that and you can see it there extracted into the folder Alrighty then, so we need a firmware file next, which you can get from this link. And again, I'll put the notes in the put the links in the video notes, sorry. Okay, and you can see there's various firmwares here. So what these do is if you flash the uh, Wii U firmware, the adapter will appear to whatever you connect it to as if it's a Wii U controller. If you flash the exit input firmware, it'll appear as if it's an X input controller, etc. and so on. So I'm going to use X input because that's really easy to demonstrate on a PC. So there's a little knack to getting these to download correctly. And I'll show you how you can do it. And this has, hasn't failed me yet. So click here and it'll take you to this page. And what you want to do is click on raw so not click on raw right click on raw and go save link as and we're going to put it into bridge dfu programmer which is um, the directory where we just extracted the programmer and we're going to put save Okay, now that should be all set, so I can minimize Firefox now. And C bridge DFU programmer, we can see we've got the hex file and we've got the programmer executable. Um, right, so we need to load that through the command prompt now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and search for command. And I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to choose run as administrator so it has to be administrator for this to to work and I'm going to put my administrator password in although you won't see that on the video and click this window to bring it to the front so in command prompt, the working directory is here. So we're currently in C Windows System 32 and we don't want to be there. So we need to go up a directory. To do that, you just type CD, leave a space and then two dots. So now we're in C Windows, which um, would be the same as C 
windows like that. So obviously we are not want to be there, so we need to do cd dot dot again, or you can press the up arrow on the keyboard. Up arrow, there you go. Right, now if I type dir, that lists all the files in the directory, because we are in this directory. C, C. Yeah, as you can see. Now we need to change to this bridge subfolder. So we type cd space bridge. Okay, let's do a dir again, just so we know where we are. Right, now we need to change to this directory, which is where the programmer lives. So you could type cd space dfu dash programmer dash win blah blah blah. Or you can use this little trick, type dfu and then an asterisk and hit enter. And all that means is change directory to the first directory beginning dfu. Right, let's do a dir and you can see we're in the correct folder now. There's the hex file we downloaded and there's the programmer software. Now to make this as easy as possible, I've actually saved the commands we need to use, which are here. And there's only two, so it's really not that difficult. The first one will erase the bridge, so it's ready for a fresh firmware. Now, technically, you shouldn't need to put this dash dash force on the end, although sometimes it is necessary just to completely erase it. Um, first of all, you press the button on the bridge. Now you press it and release it. You don't hold it down like you do with Gamer Pro, etc. And you should hear the USB connection sound. Now I'm just going to select that all, right click and copy. Now if I click my command prompt and I just have to right click the mouse and the command is pasted in. And that's ready to go, so just hit enter. Great, so that's erased. So the next thing we need to do is this command here. And again, because I'm lazy, I'll just copy and paste it in. And just click on the window and then right click. Now this isn't quite ready because we need to change this last bit. We want to delete bridge.hex and we need to put this instead. So let's do that. B R I D G E dash X import dash B dash zero 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 one dot hex. All right, I'll stretch that out so you can see it. And that's literally it. Just hit enter. And that's programmed. Right, so if I go to let's see let's be game controllers. Here we are. And if I hit the button again on the device. And there we go. The PC believes that there is an Xbox 360 controller connected to it. And if this doesn't come up after you press the button, just unplug and replug the bridge and it should come straight up. And that's it really. You can now start playing with the bridge and experimenting with different controllers and um, we hope you have fun.